My name is Marco Antonio Malpica. I am a full-time graduate student at New York University going for my social work master's degree. And in addition, I am a competitive King of Fighters player in the fighting game community. Well, I attended Montclair State University in Montclair, New Jersey for my bachelor's in psychology. I graduated in 2004. With a degree, I graduated with a, a psychology degree, a bachelor of arts, and I came from Montclair State University. Within a year, I need to add one more to the collection. That'll be from where I am right now, which is New York University. And I have my degree, my master's degree in social work, and hopefully my license to be a social worker also. Um, the program is very intense, clinically based, and so I'm taking seven, in my first semester I was taking 17 credits. So I was taking like classes and I was balancing my internship. My internship is ele elementary school in North New Jersey, and I deal with, and I do counseling with kids from kindergarten to fifth grade. As I was applying for New York University, I also had like a hobby that I genuinely didn't enjoy. And one of the hobbies that I do that I'm well known around the fighting game community is a fighting game called the King of Fighters 13. The King of Fighters 13 is, I will say one of the most technical games out there because it's very execution heavy and it's very fast paced in comparison to all the other games out there. To me, King of Fighters, it's like a hobby and it's my way to vent out my frustrations. Like it helps me set my mind into things. Like if I feel overwhelmed with schoolwork or other obligations that is happening in my life, I'll just contact my local friends and I'll just play King of Fires with them. I genuinely enjoy it and I enjoy the atmosphere, learning about other players, seeing where they're from. I have a variety of friends around I would say all over the world, like from California, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Florida, even Kentucky, and even my friends in Chile, Mexico, and where I'm from, Peru. Like this game brought so much group cohesiveness and universality that I'm able to communicate with them. And King of Fighters, I would say influenced me in regulating my emotions and keeping me stable, I wouldn't trade it for the world. My very, very first exposure, this is kind of funny, to be honest. I, and when I was my, it was my senior year of high school, my mom tells me, oh, we're going to Peru. And I was thinking to myself, what's Peru? It's kind of funny because I am Peruvian and I really never gone to Peru. So it's kind of like mind blowing. So this was like my first experience actually going to my quote unquote native country. And so we went to different activities. We went to like museums, churches, like uh, meeting my family, meeting relatives that I never knew I had. I had over, I'm going to say a million cousins. I'm just exaggerating, but I probably had a lot more. <laughs> but when I was hanging out with them, we would go to the mall. And in the mall, they had like this little arcade. And lo and behold, I saw King of Fighters. When I came back here, I started playing KOF. I started going full blown, like getting to the KOF community, getting to the KOF game, was KOF 11. I started playing KOF 11 competitively, and every tournament I will go, like, I will place very, very high. It was kind of like redeeming myself because I will lose so many times. It kind of feels great to beat other people so you know exactly the pain that I was going through as much as I... As much as it, it's rude for me to say, but it felt really, really good to beat them all the time. And going to tournaments and everything else, and it was fun. Can't really complain. And I was playing KOF until sadly my local arcade that had it closed down. So I didn't really play KOF. And then I stopped playing fighting games for like, I'll probably say like a period of two years. After the second year, the two years. And play Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 was probably 
a fighting game that got me back into the whole competitive scene. I'll go to tournaments at like local arcades. Like there's nothing local around my area in North Jersey, so the lo the closest one to me is like half an hour, forty five minutes away, and that's called Eight on the Break in Danella, New Jersey. And every Tuesdays, like every week, will be a tournament. And during the summer, I will go just to have fun, hang out with friends, and get myself better. And then once I got myself better, I will enter majors and see. Well, let me see how good I am. Maybe I could win this tournament. Well, it's not as easy as you think. But you just go there for fun. And that's what's more important about it. Besides, you know, going into NYU, getting accepted and being a social work program. But when it comes to the fighting community, specifically King of Fighters, my greatest accomplishment, honestly, was winning a major for the first time. In Grand Finals, I had to play Christopher Gonzalez, other one known as Chris G. New York Chris G. New York Chris G, if you're not into the fighting community, he's one of the best well-known players in the fighting game community. Right up. I am very happy to hear all this noise right now for KOF. Really, such, a, such an amazing game. Thank you, SNK. Thank you, Atlas. Yeah, you know what? KOF gets low, but I think it just needs more community participation. Need, yeah. yeah. Uh, Reiki Kido, James Alderson, uh, uh, if you're watching this, shout outs to you. He's been doing a lot of community efforts to try to get more players out, just try to understand what's been going on with the community. Why not enough people go to tournaments? Wait, we can talk about that more later. We are back to the last match of Grand Finals. King versus Yuri, Chris G versus Marco Polo. And it was down to the last match. The last match, like the very last moments, it was like he had a little pixel of life and I have half, half health. Any mistake I made, he will capitalize me and it was an automatic kill. And so, I took a chance. I took a risk for the first time. I jumped in and the move I did connected and it was over. UZX Fireball Drive Cancel there to be able to take it home with a Rijinkan loop. Oh, that's gonna be it! Oh, he missed it! Chris G, he's got a chance. Oh, he just backs off. He's gonna try to fish for Neo Max like he did in the previous matches. Hey, Marco needs Marco, to be. Marco, he's well aware. He's well aware. He, he is not gonna leave the ground. Oh. Hits him with a cross up D! Marco Polo is your Apex one of your team, KOF champion. Good stuff to Marco! When it was all over, I just shaked his hand, dropped my stick, and I was like having my hands up in the air. I was like, I did it. And then all my friends just jumped on the stage and just hugged me. They were all happy, excited. I never felt so emotional because, wow, like, is this really happening? Did I actually do it? There's no words to describe it. Like, you have to be there to witness it. It was probably one of the greatest moments that ever happened to me. And I'm thankful for actually doing something. And KOF is a hobby for me, but it feels good to actually win something for a change.